It's back. And no, I'm not talking about the mystery McRib with that mystery meat. I'm talking about merch by Amazon. So, hey everyone, Hurricane Liz here, multi-million dollar Amazon seller and all around just nice gal. Here to tell you what exactly happened with merch. It's back, but what happened to our listings? What are we gonna have to do to re-rank them? Did they lose their rank? Did they keep their rank? All that and a heck of a lot more. And yeah, I had to give it a couple days to process because I wanted to make sure to give you guys the best and absolute merch is back update on the planet. So why don't we just jump straight into my screen share and do this. All right, so we're here inside of one of my actual merch accounts, so hallelujah, right? But you're gonna notice one thing. Obviously, I waited a couple days to release this because I wanted things to kind of percolate, or I don't even exactly know the proper word to say that I wanted things to repopulate themselves. I wanted the algorithm to reset itself, and I figured you all would get this information elsewhere. It's obviously breaking news, but I wanted to see what exactly happened with the ranking, right? Because at the end of the day, when we got shut down, that was our number one question. What is going to happen to our shirts that are selling like hotcakes right now, and are we gonna have to re-rank these bitches that was what we were concerned with so let's take a look at what happened here so we're gonna notice that on 5-1 this is the official message from merch it says thank you for prioritizing or letting us prioritize our employees safety and health concerns yeah really I didn't notice that but thank you for informing me of that Amazon but here's the part that's actually about us we are restoring US merch products with which will allow customers to purchase them on an ASIN by ASIN basis so what does that mean once again as we talked about in what is essential and non-essential nobody fucking knows that's the bottom line we don't know what ASIN is prioritized over another ASIN, and I'm gonna prove it to you in just a minute here. I'm gonna jump into my favorite tool, which is Merch Hunter, and I am just basically searching at the top 100, which we did when Merch got shut down, and one thing that you're gonna notice is if we scroll down here, good old ghost shirt which i talked about before and i just quickly scrolled across a minute ago ghost shirt is still in the top 100 right and it's right now at 259,000 bsr i don't know if it's gone up or down because this little red gadget thing here is in the way but if we look at the overall chart to ghost shirt we're going to notice that its bsr has ranged it's on or about 69,000 and it's been that way since November all the way on up to March and all of a sudden in April, boom, it got up to 259K because we know it sat there and collected dust while a bunch of shirts from Printful and Teespring and all that dominated the SERPs, right? For those of you that don't know what a SERP is, it's easy way of saying search engine because I just don't feel like saying search engine right now. So on this particular shirt, it went from 70,000 to 259,000, but it's still in the Merch Informer top 100. So that tells me one of two things, either Merch Informer has not updated or the information just hasn't updated at Amazon. So take a look at this. If I go and try to buy this shirt, this ASIN is left out of the ASIN by ASIN basis. Okay, so that's about as ASIN by ASIN basis as this gets. And take a look at Ghost Shirt's friend Stormtrooper here. You're gonna notice that Stormtrooper, same thing. You can't add it to cart and the list goes on and on. And a lot of these, even Minnie Mouse right here, it used to have a great BSR and it's still not showing up. Even Shenanigator, even Beard is taken. All these great St. Patrick shirts like Shut Up Liver, You're Fine. All of them were doing great, but all of a sudden they've just disappeared. Now, I will keep and show you here what I think is super interesting. And I'm going to explain why I think this is happening and what we have to look forward to in the future. But take a look at my shirt, Turkey Face Girl shirt. For some reason, Turkey Face Girl shirt is immediately available, whether you're a kid, a woman, or heaven forbid a guy wants this shirt. There's got to be something wrong with the guy that wants an eyelash turkey face girl shirt. It obviously is a guy whose wife bought this shirt for them and is making them wear this t-shirt. And so you're gonna notice that for some reason it's available for sale. I can add any size, I can add any color. And let's just for shits and grins, take a look at turkey shirts BSR and what it's ranged in the past couple months. Okay, and you're gonna notice that Keepa tells me almost the same thing that Merch Informer does, only I've gotta read it out on the graph. But on average, the sales rank of this turkey shirt 
has either been in the millions because we're nowhere close to Thanksgiving or it's crushing it in the under 10,000s here. But for the most part, right before this whole thing happened, this turkey shirt was around 900K in sales rank. However, this turkey shirt is now available. Now, again, this could be happening for one of many things. And I also did check another one of my shirts that always sells really well, no matter what. And that's the People Not A Big Fan shirt. And you're gonna notice that this shirt is basically not showing up in the top row. It's not showing up in the second row. It's not even in the third row. It is on the fourth row. And earlier when I checked, it was on the second row, which means yes, it has dropped in rank, but you'll want to notice the other thing, which is almost all of these are merchant fulfilled. And the reason I can tell that is I can clearly see here free shipping on almost all of them. And on the People Not A Big Fan shirt, it's basically, a prime one. So let's take a look here. Uh, this is a merchant fulfilled. This looks like a prime one. Um, this is a prime one. So we've got two merch shirts and the easiest way to actually figure this out is go to merch research and in merch research, it says that I'm pretty much number one. So all the other third party shirts, I'm basically shoved down to about the fourth row. So yes, I did lose some of my rank. Am I worried? No. And let me tell you why I'm not worried. The reason that I'm not worried is that my shirt is fulfilled by Amazon. And what does that mean? That means that in the long run, Amazon looks at me more happily and it will almost outrank the merchant fulfilled options or the other options that are available outside of Amazon because of the fact that I make that money for Amazon and they get to pocket that money and take it home. Whereas some of these other third party shirts do not make as much money as my shirt is making them since mine is fulfilled by Amazon. So over time, my position will pick up and I've already had a couple sales on this actual shirt, even though I'm showing up in the fourth row and about an hour ago, I was showing up in the second row. Now, why do the listings change around like that? Well, it's because every user, depending on where they are and how many times they've searched the product or how often they're they're searching for certain things will be shown very different actual listings. And so that takes me to the next question that most people will have. What is actually ASIN by ASIN basis mean? And why isn't my best selling shirt and a shirt that was selling extremely well on Amazon showing up while yours are Liz? And well, the answer to that is it just depends on several factors. The first could be the area you are in relation to where the actual shirt's being printed. So for example, I am in Miami, but the chances are that maybe some of these actual shirts are being printed all the way in Washington state, which makes it a very long way. And so my shirt isn't being served to people that are far away from me. So Amazon could have different print centers and depending on what your location is, that's when they'll determine whether or not it's shipped to one location or another. Now a second version, which is clearly not the case is mine was just obviously selling better than yours, which is in no way, shape or form the correct answer because you obviously saw that the Turkey shirt was on or around 1 million BSR. And then the final answer to what they could be doing is they don't even know themselves, which is the more than likely scenario because as you saw my three rubber chickens that I purchased were in fact essential when there was a lot of other products at Amazon that were way more essential than a pair of rubber chickens because at the end of the day, what the hell do you do with rubber chickens during a pandemic? And even though I was able to discover those other things, fact of the matter is it just doesn't make any sense. And that is more than likely the number one scenario. So what do we do if we're not showing up and how do we get ourselves to show up even higher? Well, a couple things that we can actually do. One is sit and wait, right? There is a chance that Merch Informer hasn't updated. There's still a chance that Amazon hasn't updated. And if you are in fact listing with Merch, like I said, in the long run, you have a huge advantage versus Merchant Fulfilled sellers. Now, the second thing that you can do is you can take matters into your own hand. And if you have access to AMS ads, you'll definitely want to run some ads on there that will definitely help get you re-ranked right now. Now, if you don't have access to AMS ads, there is a third option and I've talked about it periodically throughout all my videos on this channel. That is you can run a chat bot to your actual t-shirts and give them away. A couple would probably do the trick right now, so it won't be that much money out of your pocket, but it is something that I highly recommend. So if you haven't looked at my actual video on chatbots, I would highly recommend. And then lastly, if you haven't actually started, I would highly suggest that you either sit and wait to make an application. I would still wait a couple weeks just to see what the outcome is. Start putting a collection of t-shirts available for Amazon to see your work in a couple weeks. I would work on Teespring and any of the other sites to make a mini site in order to showcase your actual shirts. 
And if you already have access to Amazon, but you haven't been tiered up, I would hold off on buying your own shirts until you start to hear about other people getting tiered up. And if you have a bunch of shirts and you just can't load them up yet, I would focus on ranking or helping to re-rank your current shirts with either the pay-per-click advertising and or many chat bots. So that's basically a wrap of what's going on in Amazon merch. And we've got a lot to look forward to. They are definitely making this available to everyone again, but it's just coming out very slowly. So I do recommend that if you are sitting around on the sidelines, now is the time to start stockpiling your designs so that you're ready to go when they allow people to actually import brand new designs. Until then, focus on working on your pay-per-click skills and learning how to use a chatbot for merch and all other parts of Amazon. Other than that, if you have any questions or comments on this video, please post them below. I always personally answer that and I will see you all in the next video.